This is Joseph Coco. I'm at Ape 2017 on behalf of Becky Holburn's Art Process YouTube channel and blog. If you could introduce yourself, please. Hi, I'm Fan Girls. Okay. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> All right, Bad Girls, what's uh, bringing you to Ape this year? Uh, Fan Girls is at Ape because it is an alternative press expo, and we feel that there should be anime and manga represented at an alternative press expo. Definitely. Uh, a lot of the West Coast seems to be very accepting of anime uh, and anime influence things, so um, it's really awesome that uh, you guys can make it out here. Can you tell me a little bit about your work? Um, so, Fangirls is actually an art label. We're an internet based company and we represent and ca uh, carry artist work from across America and Canada. Okay, cool. Um, so, not everything on the table is yours and it's a variety of people. Yes, and okay. we also have a line of Fangirls official work, which includes some of our uh, thesis uh, projects and our logo mascot character. Okay. And um, where are you based out of? Obviously, if there are several people, um, can potentially have multiple locations. But um, are you uh, local to the uh, San Jose area? Um, I would be, but Fangirls is actually made up of more than just me. Of course. <laughs> so we are actually based out of Toronto, Canada. That is where we are originally from. Oh, cool. Okay, and uh, can you tell me a little bit about uh, some of the, the works you've brought with you today? Um, I see you have a lot of t-shirts, comics, charms, and that sort of thing. Uh, washi tape seems to be uh, uh, big with um, uh, fangirls. Uh, I guess, what would you say is the... What would you think has been doing the best at, at 8 so far? Hmm. I feel like the quintessential fangirls uh, look is uh, it's kind of like a punk-inspired anime take. Sure. And at Ape, I feel like um, what has been doing well were... Let's see. Uh, uh, some of our books here. These yeah. are part of our thesis uh, pillars, the psychology behind fangirls. This one is called Itaiko. Okay. Yeah, yeah and um, I picked this up yesterday. Um, oh, no, I'm sorry. I picked up Mushibon. Uh, but they're both uh, Risograph uh, illustrator works you, you mentioned. Um, what was the decision behind that? Did you just feel like it was the best representation of the work? Or did you approach it uh, from the other way and you, you wanted to do some Risograph and decided to put it into a book after the fact? So, Fangirls has uh, started with a core from Toronto in the underground scene. scene. So when we had first launched, we were always more on the scene side of uh, expos. Sure. <laughs> so we have moved into um, more into like anime conventions and more into book expos after the fact. Yeah. So our original projects being resographed is actually uh, paying homage to the original fangirls. The zine culture. Uh, the zine culture. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Um. So how did uh. Was the decision a natural one to move into anime con since you have a lot of um, anime inspired and anime works? Mm -hmm. um, or is that something you had planned to do the entire time? I feel like um, the decision to move into anime cons was quite natural because prior to Fangirls, the, um, we were quite interested in anime conventions already. Yeah, and, uh, just as attendees or as tablers just, as well? Just uh, attendees and the culture. Um, yeah. Because Fangirl's work comes from a postmodern anime take, so we try and subvert a lot of um, the themes that we've connected All to in our childhood. Stuff. Yeah. yeah. So we feel like at anime conventions, people understand the work a little bit more because they have also grown up with a similar history. Yeah. And they also have experienced this like commercialized um, Japanese culture that is different from being in Japan um, versus like growing up with it here in North America. Sure. So do you feel like you're broadening the horizons a little bit of the people who uh, watch anime or is it for the most part um, people who have already experienced beyond the commercial aspects of of anime that, that are interested in your things. Like, what's your typical customer like, I guess? Mm. <laughs> okay, I guess um, the typical customer is someone who is able to receive our concepts because they have, they understand the language of the stylistic, like, outlook. So 
they they can get beyond the fact that anime looks like the way it is and able to digest the actual concepts that we're trying to portray with some of the artwork. Okay. Yeah. So some deeper themes than than something yeah. that you would see on Toonami or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like uh, something beyond just the aesthetic of anime. Yeah. More along the lines of like the story that it's trying to tell. Yeah. Okay. Um, can you tell me a little bit about your washi tape uh, designs? Yes, sure. The washi tape design are actually part of an ephemeral project that we did. Every time we release a tape, it is in conjunction with another core thesis that we do. Okay. Um, so, for example, this tape up here, this is actually scenes from the Mushigon book. Yeah, I see that. And this tape here is also uh, the special release with the Mushi tape. We also release t-shirts with the zine release too. So every time we do a release, it has some several different uh, ephemera items that are like limited edition. That you can gotcha, play. so it's like a milestone basically in, mm -hmm. in, um, in fangirls. Yes. <laughs> That's a really cool idea. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Um, so have you been to uh, many independent comic shows in the past? I know you said you kind of focused on zine shows when you guys were first starting. Mm -hmm. um, is um, like what what made you specifically choose ape other than being kind of in the San Jose area? Mm, I think initially what drew me to ape was um, the fact that it was advertised as alternative press because yeah. we feel like that label accurately describes what we are because we are definitely alternative uh, and press publishing our own work. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, and what are um, some of the specific inspirations behind the work. I know you said you were looking to explore themes uh, that uh, commercial anime often either avoids or just isn't interested in. Um, like, how how would uh, one of your zines start, for instance? Like, where do the where does the core concept come from, and how do you go about uh, creating that into into a zine or a comic? I see. Um, I guess what's interesting to note here is that. We actually value commercialized anime in the fact that it is very commercialized. I think what makes Fangirls work special is that we take the commercialized aspect and we spin our own take on it. Okay. So, for example, our latest project for this uh, art book compilation CD published by Faku.net and ZoomLens record label. Um, our piece in this is, <laughs> I can show you. This piece, Angel's Egg. Okay. Um, and the concept behind this is on the topic of metempsychosis, in which we documented here, and uh, <laughs> we tried to connect the themes of magical girls and reincarnation, or metempsychosis. Interesting. Yes. Yeah, so the definition of this is the transmigration of a soul without judgment. Um, and it's so a little bit of a Buddhist type? Uh, a little sorry, bit. It's kind of like a reincarnation, sort of. <laughs> like, okay. And so we actually connected this to the popular anime Sailor Moon. Even though Sailor Moon is sure. a very commercialized anime that everybody has watched before, we felt like there are deeper themes here where we interpreted Sailor Moon's uh, reincarnation as the same soul passing through various objects. And the objects are almost like passed down generation from generation, like heirloom objects. Okay. Yep. <laughs> so it's just a um, deeper dive into uh, what some of the creators may have been thinking about when they're producing this, but it's not brought to the forefront during um, the actual story of the show, is what you're saying. Yes. So okay. at Fangirls, we just. We love uh, dissecting anime and deeper themes and trying to relate that on a more global and spiritual process. So it may have not been part of what the creator's intention was, but yeah. we feel that growing up with it, it's it has shaped our lives and uh, yeah, it's well, very interesting. I to, think that's like, a very natural thing to do um, mm -hmm. because, like, I remember growing up uh, around the same time that Sailor Moon was coming out, Neon Genesis Evangelion was very big. Mm -hmm. And people, at least in America, um, people here analyze that, I feel like, ad nauseum. Um, 
And it's kind of strange that people didn't do something similar for Sailor Moon. Yeah, it is much more lighthearted, obviously, but that's not to say there isn't something there beyond just the face value of, you know, magical girls that uh, kick butt. Um, <laughs> Uh, so it's it's really interesting to see that you're taking that same sort of analytical approach uh, and trying to um, extrapolate meaning uh, out of Sailor Moon and other commercial type products as well uh, beyond just confusing messes that are, are things like Neon Genesis have been going on. <laughs> okay, and um, can you tell me about any shows that uh, uh, Fangirls is planning on doing in the near in the near future? Um, the next convention that we will be doing is KumariCon, and I believe that one is in Portland. Um, cool. <laughs> and then we are also doing a, a, a short run, which is a book fair in Seattle. Okay, awesome. And where can we find your work online? Uh, you can find our work on, online at um, www.fangirls.net. That is our web store, and we are most active on Twitter. Our handle is fangirls underscore press. Okay, and we can find all of your t-shirts and your zines and um, washi tapes and that sort of thing at your store? Mm-hmm. Yep. Fantastic. All right, and finally, would you have any advice to an artist who's considering tabling at Ape for the first time? Mm, my advice would be to do a lot of research and uh, ask questions, definitely come to APE and ask the artists who are already yeah. tabling. <laughs> so show up as an attendee and just talk to people, basically? Yes. Okay. And um, that, I guess that would be it. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, fangirls. I hope you have a good APE. Thank you. Thank you very much.